Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah? Yep. Oh no! Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock. I'm the YouTuber formerly known as Russell. I'm also the YouTuber currently known as Russell. Anyway, welcome back. Today is the day I'm decommissioning this. I took the last couple of things out. There's a box of chicken wings that I mowed through last night. There's a bag of hamburger buns and some old venison ribs of all things. Anyway, it's all gone. It needs to be cleaned, but uh, not until the ice is gone, but I'm not doing that today anyway. I'll do it another day. And now it's off. So here's here's what I got. I wonder if there's a clean side to this. <laughs> I don't know what I was formerly used for. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Mm. Those out. All right, scissors. So it can still breathe, right? Air can still get under there. But nothing's getting in there. Nothing's getting in there like dirt or mice or anything like that. And I have a couple of shims. <laughs> it's not sitting flat anyway. It's a, the plastic is holding it up. Still stick those in there. Yep. And there's no gap there. Well, tiny little gap. No, no mice are gonna get in there. Perfect. Doesn't look very good. And I can come back, come back here later and just cut around the plastic to make it look a little nicer. Just take off this excess. But I'm not doing that today. Probably when I like clean it out properly. Anyway. It's a nice day. I think it's time to get out on the water. Not that water. So this is the water I was talking about. It's a bit different than the pond. Ken says, this is why we call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> this is when one of the supposed to lines are supposed to go off. <laughs> we didn't script this very well. <laughs> not yet. Come on. Oh, the are on strike, so Trying to balance the boat here. Yep. <laughs> they start reeling because we're losing time. Yep. Turn it to your right. Or your left, Dad.
Okay, Uncle Don, I'll get you to back up a bit from the boat so that I can get closer to the edge of the boat. Here, <laughs> keep the rod fit down, let him take that. Just hold on. Yeah. You can back up to the middle of the boat to fight it. You need to come, come this way, Don. Come, come back my way. Yep, yep. A couple steps. A couple more steps, Don. So that your end of the rod is right. And now once we get him closer to the boat, yeah. you're just going to lift it up and bring him towards me so that I can scoop. Yeah. Okay, no more reeling. Just lift the tip up. Let him do that. Don't lift while he's doing that. Okay, now bring him towards me. Get out of there. Good, thank you. You listen. Lift. Nice. Good catch, Don. <laughs> Just stand up and hold that, sir, so we can get your pick. Sure. Hat on, hat off. Yep. Make sure you fix your hair. <laughs> this is for the Pull newspaper. the top part of it, yep. <laughs> Kent's going to take a picture with your with his phone. I'm just taking some quick video. That's a nice looking fish. Okay. So you might all be wondering uh, exactly how we're fishing here. I thought I'd just show you quickly. This device here, right here, uh, with a metal line on it, that's called the downrigger. At the end of that is a big ball, big heavy ball, they call it the cannonball. And it's, uh, obviously, it hangs down, not quite straight, but it hangs down, right now it's set to 93 feet, a little gauge on here. So it's hanging close to the bottom. These two lines, these fishing lines, are both connected to the wire, the metal wire. One near the bottom, and then one what is it, like 20 feet up, Ken? 12 feet up. 12 feet up? Yeah, so we're, we're fishing at two different heights. Um, same with the uh, one on that side as well. It's set up the same way. What happens, and they're just with a clip-on, so what happens when if a fish grabs the lure at the end of one of these lines and gives it a yoink, uh, the clip comes loose off. It, it releases it from the metal wire. It releases this line from the metal wire, and this rod will suddenly you know, spring upwards. That's when we grab the line, reel it in a little bit, give it a tug to set the hook. And then once the hook's set, then the fun begins. We bring it in and hopefully we uh, bring it in the boat. That last one, uh, the, the lure got stuck in the net and I had to spend like 10 minutes getting it unstuck. Anyway, here's, are you waiting for me, Kent? No, you can come through here, that's fine. Just thought I'd show you quickly Kent's, oh, he was using my knife. Just thought I'd show you quickly one of Kent's many uh, fishing bags. One of 13, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's got a few things in here. Uh, stuff. Yeah. More stuff. Yeah, this is just for uh, this morning. He's got another bag for this afternoon. Uh, I'm sure we can catch something with one of these. I don't even... What is that? Those are for pickles. Okay, well... Why aren't we fishing for pickerel? Well, you said you want salmon. All right. <laughs> this is the salmon bag. <laughs> and the occasional ray rainbow trout bag. Yes, and lake bag. <laughs> Come on, fish. And what is this? So this is a squid. And we've got our Lure Jensen reflector. So that catches their attention. And yep. And then they see this and say, I'm hungry. And is that glue in the dark squid? I'm not sure if this one does or not. I haven't had this one out yet. Looks like it might though. We'll leave in the sun. Are we putting on one of these lines over here? Yeah. Okay. yeah we're due to switch those in about five minutes. And the, uh, my favorite lure is on this line right here. <laughs> Henry called it, Henry named it the Flounder Pounder. Uh, not so lucky today. Not yet. I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it to you when, it, when we reel it in. 
we every like half hour reel in lunch to check them and maybe change the This is Bob. Hey. <laughs> This is Bob, all right. I've known Bob for a long time. In fact, I'm uncomfortable <laughs> actually calling him Bob. <laughs> I want to call him Mr. Cheeseman. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> and how, how's, how's it been knowing me all these years? Oh, it's been something. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can tell you some stories about this man. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to cut now to uh, <laughs> something else. So there's the clip, and you got a safety on it just in case it pulls the clip off the yep. line. Founder, founder, baby. Do you want me to get that rod out of the way? Yeah. I'll pull her oh, down. Oh, it's a rainbow! <laughs> I'll pull it down. Seeing this, <laughs> M one oh six. Want me to take that? Do now. Keep them out, Rust, and I'm not going to get that ball up in time. Yeah. You want me to yeah, keep reeling on the ball? Nope, because the uh, other thing's in the way. Yep, that should be just about enough there, and just lift and come towards me. That was a much smoother job, gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Nice three pound, three pound football. Rainbow trout. No. Beautiful rainbow. No. See if you put in her order. She wanted some salmon, she wanted some rainbow. Yeah. Oh, fish 83 feet. Three pound rainbow trout. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah? Yep. Yes. Yes. Fish on. GoPro start recording. GoPro start recording.
All right, come on, let's go. That's what a very happy dog looks like. Nope. <laughs> uh, there's a reason why she's really happy right now. Uh, late last night, we're coming on, coming in. Like 10, 10, 15, so it's dark. Well, whenever we come in at night, they're always, they always kind of run right behind the ATV. That's, I don't know why. <laughs> and then when we're almost to the cabin is when they kind of take off and, because they know where we're going. And, uh, yeah, and we were like 80% of the way in. And I finally stopped and said, well, let's, let's just make sure they're behind me. And they weren't. Just flashed my flashlight around. Not there. So uh, I said, okay. So I went into the cabin and took the fish inside, put it in the freezer, came back out. It was calling for them. Neither of them were there. Yep, do that right now. Taking a dump. <clears throat> So, uh, I was calling for them and finally said, all right, screw it. And I went out in the ATV again, really annoyed because I just kind of wanted to chill. It was a long day, right? <clears throat> I found Junebug not too far, uh, a few hundred meters down the, the ATV trail. A few hundred meters down the ATV trail, by the way, is, <laughs> is not like a city sidewalk. It's, you know, it's the ATV trail. So we went, I kept going and Junebug, I think, I thought she went back to the cabin because she disappeared. We kept going and this is kind of, you know, I want to, I don't want to say, um, not normal. I want to say it's normal. It is, it is kind of normal for them to like be sidetracked, like by a squirrel or something on the way in, you know, but they usually like, catch up pretty quick. So. So, you know, if I was on my way on the ATV at night or even during the day and they suddenly disappeared, they're looking for a squirrel, you know, if they saw a squirrel, they'll catch up. <clears throat> anyway, <coughs> I rode out, I don't know, 40% of the way before I finally saw Willow and I shouted, Willow, come on, let's go. And I turned the ATV around, came back in and she wasn't behind me again. Like, where the hell does she go? So, uh, so I, uh, so I waited. She knows the trail. She knows how to get here. If she's on the trail of something, she's after a squirrel or something, then whatever. And I ended up going to bed um, while she was still out here. And I wasn't too worried because, as I said, she knows the trail and it's not that cold out here. I mean, in the middle of winter time, I'll look outside and she's lying in the snow. She's, she's not gonna freeze or anything. <clears throat> uh, so I ended up going to bed, expecting her to be at the sliding door in the morning, but she wasn't. <clears throat> Does that sound callous? But she wasn't there. Um, I mean, honestly, if she's gonna be off adventuring like that, you know. <clears throat> anyway, came out a beautiful morning this morning. The nice thing is like, the nice thing, and this is what I knew, is like, if we'd been off on one of our adventures, like, you know, half a day trek in any direction from the cabin, and I'd lost her out there, then I'd be seriously worried. <clears throat> you know, in unfamiliar territory kind of thing. But here on the trail, not too worried, <laughs> you know. And so we walked out this morning, and we're almost all the way to the car. So I, I guess what happened was she, you know, got tired of chasing whatever it was, got on the trail, went, you know, the wrong way. Uh, Wolfie's dog did that one time. We found him out at the cars. So, yeah, walked the whole way out. And she's pretty happy now, aren't you? <laughs> Business as usual, yeah. Beautiful day, they're up to their usual hijinks. Here's some stuff you, uh, you don't know about Willow. I never worry about Willow out here uh, against any other predators because Willow is faster and more agile than anything else out here. Like she's not strong enough to take on a bear by no means, but she can run circles around a bear, <laughs> you know. Willow came from a, uh, a breeding house 
and she was a year and a half old when we got her so obviously they 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 would have if they were going to sell her they would have sold her so i suspect they were raising her to uh, breed uh, then they found out about her eye problem and they decided to dump her on some unwilling <laughs> victim for a lot of money ah, it wasn't a crazy amount of money uh, not mentioning anything about the eye problem of course uh, but otherwise, I mean, she's so lean and so strong and such a good-looking dog. And, like, black German Shepherds are not common. Uh, a lot of people don't know there are black German Shepherds. So I suspect they were raising her for breeding, and then this happened, and they dumped her. But uh, but that's, uh, that's why I never worry about her out here, because she's... That's plain old German Shepherd engineering, right? breeding for I don't know how many years hundreds and thousands or I don't know how long but you'd have to see her uh, like it's it's hard to catch her on video or describe just how she runs around here like she's the most graceful thing in the world like <laughs> even running through dense bush uh, yeah and I guess the other thing is her lo she is loyal to a fault, right? Uh, where where June bugs love is for sale, <laughs> you know Willow is, Willow's is not. Um, like she would have hung out at the car there for days, if if not you know finally said okay I guess I'll go into the cabin and see if anybody's there, but she's not going to run off with anybody else. She's not going to head down the road looking for another hand, you know. A hand to feed. Did I say that right? <clears throat> the only thing I worry about out here is the porcupines. <laughs> she just she sees this little creature trying to get away. I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> That's the only thing I worry about out here. Welcome to Thursday afternoon. I don't want to start any big projects right now. Um, sure, there's lots of little projects I could do. Anyway, one thing I want to do is... See this area right here? Uh, this used to be like City Girl's spot. Here, this bench. She could sit on the bench and she could look at the window and enjoy the day. Um, if the, you know, if the weather's not great or if she's just eating something. Um, otherwise, she'd be outside on the swing, but anyway, this bench kind of got taken up. The inverter that I replaced, the big yellow beast that was outside, came in here and ended up there. Terrible spot for it, obviously. Um, and then my water filtering system also ended up here because I didn't know where else to put it. It doesn't really fit on the counter. It's just slightly too high to fit underneath the upper cabinets. Although it might fit if I bent down the handles. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to clear this up for City Girl so that she can sit here again. It's been like this for months, and I don't like it. And i got to do a little bit of cleaning as the window sills are all dirty and stuff. And I'll start with that. <laughs> That's a cell phone, cell phone holder for her telescope. Anyway, really this is just about finding... <laughs> places to put things. Other places to put things. Stuff on the floor over here. Here, I guess, I don't know, that's not a very good spot for it either, is it? <laughs> it's so close. Well, actually, that one, that side could hang out. The only problem now is it's in front of the light switches. Thank you. 
City Girl and I moved the shelter and moved a lot of the stuff in. We were exhausted, really exhausted, and we were just kind of firing stuff everywhere <laughs> by this, by the end. But I will find a spot for that inverter in here. <laughs> Hard to tell from that, but that's really dirty. sleeping on the floor and the dogs come in so dirty so ridiculously dirty so that area gets really dusty and dirty and I think she's got to buy another one of these I can turn it over for this weekend <laughs> we'll get the clean side as opposed to the dirty side 
But yeah, we're just gonna need another one of these. you'd enjoy a shot of me looking with my binoculars across the pond. Was it good? Nice and scenic? what she was going to do with this but until she does it I'm trying to keep everything inside clean
Where are they? He's not got a backrest here, like a proper backrest, not just pillows. Like something that pushes you out to about here. Like a... You can almost like salvage the back of an office chair so you can sit here. Good. She'll like this. I might uh, just clean all the bugs out of here that have accumulated. But that's good. with you longer but I've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> it's actually frozen I'm not doing this right now. I just thought that'd be really funny. Anyway yeah that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little fishing, a little other stuff. Losing Willow, yeah. Anyway I'm gonna leave you with two minutes of this scene here. I hope you enjoy. So grab a drink uh, pull up your favorite chair, get nice and comfy, and uh, enjoy. Peace out.
Hallo? You sit there for what nerf to get. See, I don't know what that happens, you know. The eater and the eat side dealers, they get rid of the cedar and the cedar was. Heater it was, and they make some odd in it. They're all fun like this, so the world wears, and then it gets sick. Now it's all going as well. And they're moving back and forth. The same are, but the eater and the dealers.
Sitting out full out of Now you know. So yep. Yeah. Her we're if that's in your next degree with this house gear. This house gear if that's the dog with whom her blush is with me and I'll get this mess that up.
Here's the best song, isn't it? In the large night room, Earth's half so a loser. Sure did her. Her they knit. Snigger. Uh, her. Well, the wubby are a woman. Well, the wubby one would have you got some mister. Snigger dolls are your lift, but are they lovely? I mean, well, she says, is it? Hush now. Why are you about here fishing it? Well, what about me? What was it? Sure, I'll get to know me. And I feel. No, no, I did buy G4. Yeah, I'm water up. Money. No wires. No, that's all. We're running over sister there. I said, money. You soon to pass up. See, got. Yeah, well, sir, I'll get the deal with all some water. You know, I'm so glad to go. You wasn't that. Money. Here, we're not. Wires to not hurry. Yep. Yeah, the next year, I'm sure I'm looking at you, honey. Dear wheelchair, see you in it. All right, there's all in it. In the back, in the front, here we need it. They cash head to five money. Yes, there's never ever no more fun to be with. Yes, so in it, I was in it. Yes, in it. Yes, in it. You know, I'm sitting on my foot. You know what I mean? Money. That young girl's never to five minutes. She's feels so not near my friends. We. That's the last message. It's always the, you know, when they're rolling it out, so they've been doing his cups. And I've been old, but I know, so. <clears throat> and then there's a year for the guns. This, this once, and then now this is just the little master and a woolly man. Here's a little cup. That's an LH. This is what it's just. It's a sucky beer. We smell it. Here's a little sushi. So, I'm not. And I've been old, but I know. All right, oh. Not yet, my solar works are fast. You can get my solar air. And I just. Here they get us on his wires. This one is. There it was. I was. I was. I was. I guess I'll head out again. I got him. I have him so much. I got me. 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 Yeah, we know. Watch that clip. The bar works out, see it? Funny. The bar works out. Very precise. Then this, then they add, then they're going to be ready on that. If you see, then they will have to wait for it. Funny. Oh, it's look. Okay, watch that. Yeah, it's really the money. No, yeah, we're not getting the bar works out. Yeah, gosh, now see. Yeah, this mother full run. Sit it, sit it. Full run. This one. Full run. My. Yes, I don't know why. For next season, then, I think. Very precise. The back of the top. No, we should not have. Didn't get up. God, we should not have. Big up. No, we was. I'll use this. All right. Stick out. I'll see this second lens. So, yeah, without Barsh, you've seen that dirty brinoe. Barsh, you've seen that dirty brinoe. I'll fish on. God, we should not have. Here he had, and all was a little lush, didn't know what she doesn't go in there. And they gave me the end, and I went over, because, yeah, right, I said, I'm the mother of the locks, yeah. I was. <coughs> what did I get? Right here, I didn't, my brother, mother, the mother of the locks, or the way I can make her see her from the rope. And I was in the shift with it, and in the back, and then I was, I was, I was, right on, yeah, that's how film stuff. Or when the he now have other ships just to do all this and it's about seeing up in it. Yeah, with us, we need to learn what hey, and uh, we're growing is it in the pocket and I can up in the back of the some water room in it. I wonder not. So, here we see now, if you're not running up, see what gets to see where the end of the night we're in. Right, so he's business, business, yeah. And then I'm gonna go inside the little. Well, everybody, Hillary, show me your visit there. What? Y'all, school of God, you buy here, but I'm saying. What the hell is that?
Nitro Red Circuit. Nitro Red Circuit. No shit. Hey. Hey. Wait. Hey. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, wait. Show me a knife here. Yep, you see that shift for me. Well, I'm here for this. One. Where's the mirror? Five years since. Hey, 
Got to sit down about. I don't know if that's a Christian. Here's what I'm going to ask. Let's say these and then. Wait. Snatch this dish together. Here it goes. Let me know we just see you. Or we'll get for some shift you around. So we oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. See, then I'll film this bus. I can give her a smack. No, I don't. I don't know. 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 I do Ik ben hier terug van op schermische. Hij neemt een echt van op de beurs. Ja, dat is. Ja, nou, maar zo is hij. Oh, snacht niet op de beurs. Ja, dat is. Nou, hier is het nog een keer. Ik neem een familie. Zie je? Hebben we het? Dat is nog een ding. Snel hem nog snel naar het spesje. En dan de kats. Ik ga weer lukken. En dan nog het zaal uit. Oh, en dan hier. Hij wil voor. En dan hier. En dan geef ik hem nog van dat desk. Dat is nog een ding. Oh, this is just the beat that will only deliver. Now, let me give us that. Mr. Pangerps, right? Begin the soda, isn't it? Around what I'm looking at, I'll sit the ceiling. Around what I'm looking at, the ceiling. Bit do the fast wheels, my foot to that. Can you hear this beat? Because now, I'll see the overnight that I rode. Let's marrow ship. No, it's not that I was in the office. No, it's not that you're in that. It's in the battle. We don't miss it, but it's the opposite. I don't know why. I don't miss it. Ja, dan vind je dus niks voor wat je wil zijn. Buddy fuck. Nee, buddy vind je nog veel zin op. Nou, men, maar dat hebben we er niet op. Maar ja, wat hebben we er? Ja, wat doe je? Ik ben echt veel personeel. Ik heb het niet aan de hoest zien. Maar dat hebben we er zo ook niet eens. Dat is niet eens. Hier, hier. Hier, hier. Dat is de wind hier. Maar het is niet echt. Dat is niet echt. Dat is niet echt. Dat is niet echt. Dat is niet echt. Maar het is niet echt. Oh, mijn eigen dag. Ik heb het niet echt. Ik heb het niet echt. Alright, here's the fear skin. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, for skin, I'm serious. That's low, and I've been eating. I'm going to go to the i Thank you. 
Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. 